we're gonna talk fairy lights today. Justin Fisher, shout out. Um, he requested that I talk about and demonstrate how I put up my fairy lights and those little clips. Now, everything that I talk about, except the bungees, because he wants to know about bungees too, but bungees are not in my Amazon list. You can pick those up at Walmart or Home Depot, things like that. So, but the fairy lights and the clips are in my video descriptions, um, a list of Amazon links. So go through that link. And I mean, they're fun. The fairy lights are fun. Now the clips I'm gonna show you, uh, shout out to Joanne. She turned me on to those when we went uh, boondocking at uh, Thumb Butte uh, last uh, spring. And she was putting hers up in her minivan. And I was like, oh my gosh, she go, she had a few left over and she gave them to me. And uh, so I put mine up too, but they're wonderful. And you're gonna see those. Everything is going to be in the description. Now, when it comes to my bungees, I mean, that's gonna be, I'll show you what I have, but here's the deal with bungees and uh, minivans. Every make is a little different. I mean, the seats are put in different, so there's gonna be different um, things available to bungee too, because it has to be very stable um, to bungee to it. I mean, it has to be like firm. Um, here's my problem with, and I will talk about it when it, this thing came off. This is where you would attach those, um, netting, you know, like that one came off. So, so I'm going to have to devise a way to get those back in permanently. Um, if anybody, any of you have any suggestions to get that, that, uh, the thing that goes, that screws in. To actually stay I've heard that there's a glue you can get once you put the glue on there and put it in it'll never come off I was actually thinking of these prongs that go in and then when they go in they open up so that you can't pull it out something that I could attach a hook to so I'm gonna have to spend some time at Home Depot and um, see if there's something I can devise in there so right now my bungees are just out of holding and I'll show you that uh, coming up so bungees I'll show you how I bungee but once you get going, and, and most of you already are going, um, you have other things in your van, in your make and model that you can bungee to. So, let's go. Let's talk fairy lights. There they are. This is one strand. I have two. This is where I connect it up. I kind of park one of my power banks, my small ones in there, because the fairy lights don't really take a lot of power. So this lasts a long time, but I want to show you the connector here, the USB. USB, here's the connection in there. This plastic stops right there, and then this cord connects in here but what I have found that any time that my previous fairy lights have failed me is through this connection in here this thing just flops around it bends when I plug it in this thing just bends over so after a couple times I figured that out and I have devised a way for that to not happen anymore I've eliminated that I have wrapped tape around here and flattened it out so that this connection right here cannot bend ever again. So this doesn't really, when I plug it in, if you noticed, when I plug it in, it doesn't really bend over that much so that's what I did and I did it on both of my fairy lights and this cord is thicker it's thick thick until it gets to here then it becomes more of a wire with the lights in it okay 
So there's my USB connector. That's how I solved that problem. Let me plug this in. As soon as you plug it in, it turns on. And the fairy lights always go to the last setting that you had it on. So when I strung up my fairy lights, I made sure I started with this end to make sure that it was long enough. And we'll park that in there. And I run it up here. I still have this, the seat belts. And I run the wire up here. And then I just go back to this point and then I run it back this way and run it back this way until I reach the end. And then it's usually around here and I just tuck it in and because it's a wire I sort of wrap it so that it doesn't unravel. So let me show you the pins that I attach my lights to. It's genius. Okay, so there's my clip. Let me show it to you. Two pins. And it goes into the material of the minivan. Also, it's a clip. Ingenious. Just push it in. Open the clip. Voila! So this is the strand that I have in the front of my van. Well, it goes down the side. There's the end. I did the same thing as with the other one that I just showed you. This is where I park this and I've got the tape on it. I just wind it around twice when I'm not using it to get it out of the way. Especially when I'm driving, I don't want it just hanging down. There we go. Same thing. I put tape, here's the end, and I just taped it all the way to here. When I want to use it, I plug it in. I'm holding my phone, so be, be patient here. Turn this on. There we go. Fairy lights. It ends there, and then this is my second strand. Voila. Now this is the remote that comes with them. On, off. These are all the different colors. And these are different modes. Let's go through the colors. It's a light show. Now this is only turning this one on. It's not turning that one on because I'm not aiming at the USB. Okay, now you can do time and speed also. And this is white. You just want white. Here we go. called fade. This one's called jump. It jumps to all the different colors. <laughs> this one's called ASIN fade. Okay. And this one's called ASIN jump. This these make great Christmas lights during Christmas time. If you want to have be all Christmassy inside your van. Now I'm going to aim at 
the one in front it's the different light shows and here's the Christmas lights let me see sometimes I'm standing far away from it there we go whoops there we go so this is what we have I've got Christmas lights okay so now I'm going to show you my bungees this bungee is attached down here and I can't take it all apart this one is attached to the same one as this one it's where the second row seat the little um, bump that it attaches that to and then I've got this bungee the end other end of it attached to the handle yes now this red bungee goes to the back and the green also goes to the back. Now that red bungee that you saw goes back and it attaches to this in the back, in the hatch end of my van. Now the other green one that went around goes here, but this came off. It broke off. So basically everything is like, yeah, I need to redo my bungees, but you ask and you wanted to know how they worked. I mean, this is how. They all kind of center around, I need to find some way, if anybody knows. I've heard of two or three different ways. If anybody has a better way of getting that thing back on there, that'd be great. And then one down there and one down there. I also want to show you my new um, waterproof, sandproof beach blanket. As you can see, they gave you little spikes here that I can attach this little thing Just to. A waterproof um, piece of material. It's extremely lightweight, and I yeah. love it. I love this. It's just another addition to being outside and being able to put my things on it without it actually being on the ground and um, I put the link in the Amazon link. So I hope you enjoyed this video I really love those fairy lights I can't imagine being without them they add such good ambience into my van and it makes it feel like it's it's really home now at night I use the red because if you have a red light inside of your minivan um, you can't see in it you're not it's going to be a uh, less visible to the outside and at night even though I have limo tinting on my back all of my back end of my minivan if I have a bright light on and I've also got my phone kind of um, leaned up leaned up and it's putting off light I've walked around I can actually see a little bit in there but with the red light, no. So I, I use the red light all the time. But uh, when I do videos, I like to put on a little bit, um, I do the red, but I put on a little bit more orangey yellow. And that's why sometimes on my videos, I've tried blue, but, uh, well, blue isn't too bad. But anyways, I really like the, um, the fairy lights. And uh, I recommend them. So. Go get them. Go get them, Tiger. Hey, y'all. I uh, just got back from Walmart. And I want to do a quick video to show you what I got so I can put everything away. Put on my lights. And uh, really smoky out today. A lot of fires. Cucumber. I'm loving these tomatoes. Roman tomatoes. It's only $1.88 for all these tomatoes. Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't get apples. You know, what did I get instead? Let me show you. 
I got unsweetened applesauce instead. I'm just not liking um, the quality of the Honeycrisp apples, and it's the only apple that I enjoy. So until the new um, harvest comes in, I'm going to do this. I'll probably eat one a day since my body's kind of used to apples, and then I'm not going to get the sugar, you know, like the added sugar. So I'm going to eat a lot of tomatoes, and then I got two of them because... Uh, Yeah, two, 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 two tomatoes in one. And three mushrooms, just in case I want to do a little pizza. But if I don't, then I'll just dip it and eat it. How y'all doing? Y'all, it's y'all is the word of the day here. Um... I just got a few extra things I wanted just in case. Uh, peas and carrots. Yes, peas and carrots. It's just a little one. Flip top. I enjoyed that beef stew dinty more the other day. Um, I think a couple days ago I ate it. It was so good. So I got another one to replace it. Another pork and beans. Always good. 48 cents for this whole can. 48 cents. That's good. Um, split pea soup. I have some green split pea soup. This is a little, they're both different. I'm like, what's the difference? Um, it's a little different. I like it. Um, I know this is like, I'm just going to put this away. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, lunch meat. It's not even a name brand. It was only like a dollar. What was it? Dollar sixty or something. Light. And it's like Spam. These looked really good. Um, this is a bumblebee tuna. It's lemon and sesame and ginger. <laughs> Sound good. Two of them. And then this looked good too. Bumblebee sun-dried tomato. Sometimes I just do it now that I have my little packets of mayonnaise that I bought from... Um, Amazon and the link is in the description of the video all the videos I've got all my Amazon links there and um, you can go find them there and that's what I buy for travel that way I don't need a refrigerator but uh, it's really good and it's really easy this uh, this is kind of junk food and uh, it's only like a dollar a dollar sixty something it's a cola, yeah, but they're the little, the little ones, so I like that. Let me put this, yeah. I don't, I don't use it very much. If I, before I got the ginger ale, the Walmart brand ginger ale, it lasted a long time. I just didn't really um, want to drink it that much, but every once in a while I wanted a soda. So, now this, you've seen this before. It just sounded good. When I'm finished with this, I'm going to make it. I'm going to... Heat it up in the pan, put a little cheese on it, and melt it. It's the um, Morning Star brand, and it's a garden veggie. I really like these. There's four in here. I can share it with my buddy over here, or I can just, you know, eat it in a couple days. It's frozen still. So when I put it in that little cooler, there's no ice in it, but it'll help keep things cool. And, and um, it's not going to spoil that fast. It's probably going to be... Uh, cold tonight again too so I uh, yeah it got down again last night so I really like these I do like Boca burgers too I like the um, the griller I mean it to me it tastes just like a burger you know a grilled burger I've done it out of munchies I thought I'd try these these Fritos the original Fritos so when I still have some cheese I can dip it in there and or I could use these also. I could make a thing of tuna and just dip it and eat it that way. So I didn't get bread this time. I mm. yeah, I wanted to get off the bread. Um, I, I I feel better when I don't eat bread. I think yeah. I didn't get a lot, so I'm just showing this to you. Um, the orange juice. I wanted orange juice. 
and I like to have something to drink um, other than water all the time. In the morning, I drink that 32 ounce thing of water first thing in the morning after I get dressed before I drink my coffee or even make coffee. And then at night, um, I drink more water in between. Um, I like to have, I don't do a lot, uh, maybe a couple of them, and uh, drink something. It's probably where I get my sugar. But, okay, that's it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Mwah. Bye.